This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com If you look in the Sugya, Masechta Sukkah, on Dafti Dalad Amid Beis, the Gemara discusses, how do I know that a Sukkah has to be a minimum of 10 Tfachim tall? And the Gemara goes through a lengthy Sugya that the source of the height of the Sukkah, of the height of the Schach, is learnt out of the Arayin and the Kapoiras, the height of the Arayin, of which the Shechina would rest upon, and since we have a concept that Me'oylam layar the Shechina lamata, the Shechina never went below a certain number of Tvachim, the Gemara says we're able to learn out the height of the Sukkah from the height of the Arayin. And the Gemara goes on to say, the Arayin being nine Tvachim, that we have a source for, but how do we know the Kapoiras was a Tefach? And then the Gemara on Hey Amid Aleph says, we learn it out from Al Pnei HaKapoiras Kedma, and Panim has to be at least a Tefach. And then the Gemara learns it out from the wings of the Kruvim. And the Gemara continues to bring various sources from the Pasuk of Hayu HaKruvim, Parse Kenafayim Lamala, Soichichin Bechanfeim Ala Kapoiras, where the Gemara calls the wings of the Kruvim something like Schach. Be it as it may, it seems that the Gemara feels that it's an apt source to learn out the height of Schach from the Kapoiras, from the Kruvim. Just the fact that we're able to learn out the Sukkah from the Arayin and the Kruvim, this gives us a little bit of a Hargasha, that the shade of the Schach is analogous to the wings of the Kruvim. In other words, being in the Sukkah is similar to being on the, under the wings of the Holy Kruvim where the Shekhinah rested in the Kodesh HaKadoshim. So this gives us an idea about the sanctity of the Sukkah, that the Sukkah is learnt out. The Kedusha, the Sukkah, emanates from the Arayin and the Kruvim. So I cannot help but think that in the Haftorah, the second day of Sukkot, which obviously is very appropriate for the second day of Sukkot, we read from Malachim Aleph, Parag Ches, Sukim Beis through Chafalaf, we read how the people gather to Shloimai, Biyarach Sanim on Sukkis. But I believe there's a another important connection between this episode in the Nevi'im and the Amtaf of Sukkis, and that is because the Psukim continue. Bris Hashem al A theme of the Haftaira is the Arain and the Kedusha of the Arain. And they brought it the Arain to the Kaidish Hakadoshim and it says Ki Hakruvim Parsim Kinafayim El Makoima Arain Va Yasoiku Hakruvim El Arain. The Kruvim acted as Chach over the Arain. So how can we not help but think that the appropriateness of this Haftairah is that if the Navi is using the Lashon of Schach regarding to the wings of the Kruvim, so we too, when we are in the Sukkah, we are being protected, Tachas Kanfei Hashchina. The Haftairah continues, Ein ba'aroin rak shnei luchoi avanim asher hiniach sham Moshe b'choyrev. The Haftairah, one of the main themes of the Haftairah is the Kedusha of the Arain, which since the Sukkah is derived from the dimensions of the Arayin, this, of course, is why this Haftarah is appropriate for the second day of Sukkot. So we should be zoicha to lachzois tachas kanfei hashchina. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.